Class 11 Accountancy Numerical Problem Solutions Presented by Edixit.com In this video, we are going to provide Trial Balance and Rectification of Errors Problem 14 Solution The problem statement is as follows. Rectify the following errors. A. Furniture purchased for 10,000 rupees wrongly debited to purchase account. B. Machinery purchased on credit from Raman for 20,000 rupees was recorded through purchase book. C. Repairs on machinery 1,400 rupees debited to machinery account. D. Repairs on overhauling of second hand machinery purchased 2,000 rupees was debited to repairs account. E. Sale of old machinery at book value of 3000 rupees was created to sales account. Before we proceed with the analysis of these errors, let us first do a small recap. In case of assets or expenses or losses, any increase in any of these should be debited and any decrease should be created. Whereas in case of liabilities or capital or revenues or gains, any increase in any of these should be created and any decrease should be debited. In the given problem, most of the details provided are enough for us to proceed without making any assumption. So let's skip directly to the analysis of the errors given in the problem. Let's start with the analysis of the first error. In this case, 10,000 rupees of furniture purchased was wrongly debited to purchases account. As you know, furniture is capital expenditure and hence we should consider it as an asset. So when the new furniture is purchased, we should make an entry in the furniture account on the debit side. But it was not entered in the furniture account. To rectify this error, we should debit the furniture account. Instead of debiting the furniture account, it was wrongly debited to the purchase account. We assume that the purchase account in this case is debited with the correct amount, which in this case is 10,000 rupees. Also, as you know, it is only the purchase of goods that we record in the purchase account and the purchase of furniture which is an asset should be recorded in the furniture account. As this is wrongly entered in the purchase account, we should rectify this erroneous entry by making a reverse entry on the credit side of the purchase account to nullify the effect of this erroneous entry. So to summarize, we should debit the furniture account with 10,000 rupees to enter the original entry and create the purchase account with 10,000 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry. With this analysis at our disposal, let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the title as General Recordings to Rectify the Errors. I repeat, this is not just journal, it is General Recordings to Rectify the Errors. Let us now have the individual columns for Date, Particulars, Ledger Folio, Debit Amount in Rupees, and credit amount in rupees. As the date is not given, let's just write the serial number in the date column. Let's now enter furniture account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us now write the debit amount of 10,000 rupees in the debit amount column. That completes the recording of the debit entry. Let us now record the credit entry. As you know, the credit entries are recorded by leaving some margin. They also start with 2. Let us now write purchases account as the credit entry. Let us then write the credit amount of 10,000 rupees in the credit amount column. That completes the recording of the credit entry. Let us now enter the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being furniture purchased, error rectification recording was wrongly debited to purchases account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 20,000 rupees of machinery purchased on credit was wrongly recorded through purchases book. As you know, machinery is capital expenditure and we should consider it as an asset. So, when the new machinery is purchased, we should make an entry in the machinery account on the debit side. But it was not entered in the machinery account. To rectify this error, we should debit the machinery account. Instead of debiting the machinery account, it was wrongly recorded through the purchases book. This is equivalent to debiting the purchases account. 
we assume that the purchase book in this case is recorded with the correct amount which in this case is 20000 rupees we also assume that the accounting treatment of raman's account is correctly done so we don't consider it here as this is wrongly recorded through purchase book we should rectify this erroneous entry by making a reverse entry on the credit side of the purchase account to nullify the effect of this erroneous entry so to summarize we should debit the machinery account with 20000 rupees to enter the original entry and create the purchase account with 20000 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry with this analysis at our disposal let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let's first write the serial number let's then write machinery account on the debit side let's also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry let's then write the debit amount of 20000 rupees in the debit amount column leaving a margin let's write the purchase account as the credit entry Let's also write the credit amount of 20000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let's then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being machinery purchased on credit error rectification recording was wrongly recorded through purchase book. Let's now try line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With the to have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let's now take up the next error. In this case One thousand and four hundred rupees worth of repairs done on machinery were debited to the machinery account. As you know, repairs on machinery is an expense and should be recorded in the expenses account. Repairs on machinery, but it was not entered in the repairs on machinery account. To rectify this error, we should debit the repairs on machinery account. Instead of debiting the repairs on machinery account, it was wrongly debited in the machinery account. as this is wrongly recorded in the machinery account we should rectify this erroneous entry by making a reverse entry on the credit side of the machinery account to nullify the effect of the erroneous entry so to summarize we should debit the repairs on machinery account with 1400 rupees to enter the original entry and credit the machine account with 1400 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry with this analysis at our disposal let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write repairs on machinery account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of one thousand and four hundred rupees in the debit amount column, leaving a margin. Let us record the machinery account as the credit entry. Let us also write the credit amount of one thousand and four hundred rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as. being repairs on machinery error rectification recording was wrongly debited to machinery account let's now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries with the to have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries let's now take up the next error in this case 2000 rupees worth of overhauling repairs done on the second hand machinery were debited to the repairs account as you know overhauling of the machinery is considered as capital expenditure and it should be debited in the machinery account but it was not entered in the machinery account to rectify this error we should debit the machinery account instead of debiting the machinery account it was wrongly debited in the repairs account as this is wrongly recorded in the repairs account we should rectify this erroneous entry by making a reverse entry on the credit side of the repairs account to nullify the effect of this erroneous entry so to summarize We should debit the machinery account with two thousand rupees to enter the original entry, and credit the repairs account with two thousand rupees to rectify the erroneous entry. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write machinery account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of two thousand rupees in the debit amount column, leaving a margin. Let us record the repairs account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of two thousand rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being repairs on overhauling of second hand machinery purchased. Error rectification recording was wrongly debited to repairs account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With the to have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries, let us now take up the next error. In this case, 
3000 rupees of machinery sold was created to sales account as you know as machinery is an asset we should create the machinery account when the machinery is sold this is because the machinery asset is decreasing when we are selling it but it was not entered in the machinery account to rectify this error we should create the machinery account instead of creating the machinery account it was wrongly created to the sales account as you know we use the sales account only when the goods are sold and not when an asset is sold as this is wrongly recorded in the sales account we should rectify the erroneous entry by making a reverse entry on the debit side of the sales account to nullify the effect of this erroneous entry so to summarize we should create the machinery account with 3000 rupees to enter the original entry and debit the sales account with 3000 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry with this analysis at our disposal let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let us first write the serial number let us then write sales account as the debit entry let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry let us then write the debit amount of 3000 rupees in the debit amount column leaving a margin let us record the machinery account as the credit entry let us also record the credit amount of 3000 rupees in the credit amount column let us then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being sale of old machinery on book value error rectification recording was wrongly created to sales account with that we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries in fact we have completed the generalizing of all the error rectification entries and that is the end of this solution thanks for watching edxit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements to watch all our videos please subscribe to our channel also please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published please click on the like button if you like this video thanks for watching